Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Datatalk. And uh, my name is Fredrik Farmer, and I'm going to give you a short presentation about the uh, uh, new version 5 of our award winning Watch Out multi display production and playback system. Um, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. I have a hand mic and a wire mic and um, some cables here, so I hope that I can work this out. So, I know that some of you are familiar with our products from before, but for those of you who visit us for the first time, let me just give you a very brief introduction. And you can keep your glasses on, because I'm going to run this entire demo in, in, um, in 3D. Watchout is a production and playback system for a wide variety of multi-display applications. We are doing, for example, things like this giant projection on building 3D mapping, synchronizing multiple projectors, but you also find it in fixed installations, doing digital signage, multi-screen applications in museums and visitor centers. A very common use of the product is, is uh, creating widescreen digital scenography for corporate events, for live shows. You can mix any kind of display technology, LED, LCD, projectors, all in the same production, doing nice art exhibitions like this or interior design work. You can use any number of screens at any resolution, uh, in any format. Uh, projected images can be overlapped and edge blended to create these seamless panoramas that we have here. You can use separate screens, angle screens and even curved screens all combined into the same presentation. And you use WatchOut when you want to go beyond the single screen standard format presentation. That is when you find the need for the product. But in the new version 5, we also allow you to go beyond the canned presentation with a fixed time format to create a truly interactive experience. Let me know, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, as you can see, I can uh, control these paddles here with my hands. And uh, let's start to play some game here. And, uh, let's see how I'm doing. And uh, I can invite somebody up to play with me, but perhaps. You might think that this is a strange thing to do, because you have seen computer games before, and uh, maybe you have a Microsoft Kinect uh, with an Xbox, your kids maybe have this at home. So what I'm doing here, we are just using the game here as a metaphor for any interactive media format. I can have the same motion sensor tracking my motion on stage to make anything following my actions here. So the rain cloud is following everywhere where I'm going. You can have a 200 meter screen. Anything can just follow away my actions like this. If you're a musician, you can create visuals from your standard MIDI keyboard. Or using the iPad that I have here uh, to cue my presentation. With this, I can load different sections of my shows and I can certainly interact with the media content like this to pretend that we're doing a voting or something like that. You can also use dynamic media content such as RSS feeds, news feeds, web services and other data sources brought into the system in the same way. You can control its parameters, have them on semi-transparent backgrounds like that. Another new feature in version 5 is something we call a dynamic image server. I have a camera here in my like that. I have a camera in my iPad here, so if I find nice some people here smile, please. Okay, that's very good. And I just upload this onto the main screen, and that's the picture. I have a keyboard also on my, my iPad, so I can just type some text here. And uh, which I'm also sending over the standard network. So just so you get the idea what I'm doing here, this is not just a screen capture of my iPad. I have no wires attached here. This is real. I mean, I'm taking the picture, I'm uploading it through the wireless, and then into the dynamic image server into watch out. All these things, the news feed, picture, the text I was typing, they're all examples of the same thing. Dynamic media streaming over any standard network solution. You can have a colleague in some other city texting you a message that can appear on the main screen. I'm sure you can find ideas of how to use this. Live video from the camera there. Another form of dynamic media content that you can bring into a watch out presentation. 
you, you notice that I was using a green screen effect to key out the background. That's a standard feature of WatchOut where you can key out, create transparency like this in any 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 media format. Uh, this live feed here could of course be a uh, PowerPoint presentation from a standard computer that you capture, but in this case it's a live feed from the camera. I have another cross fader here that allows me to fade to another camera. It's a small network camera I have in the corner of the stand there. So what I'm doing now is I'm fading from my high definition SDI source from the camera to a network video streaming coming in over the network. Doing a bit of vision mixing in WatchUp. That's pretty cool. And all the media elements in WatchUp remain independent and they're rendered in real time. So where am I there? You can use pictures, text, graphics, animations, video, sound, dynamic media content, like the live video feed. And you can all use them for to move them across the screens like that. You can even position fields in the field oops in the field of depth here so I can use all the least like a 3D effect almost and all of this is interactive and done in real time with any type of media. Watch out automatically synchronize this and splits up the media and make sure it travels smoothly from one display to the next. If you have curved screens we have built-in geometry correction if you have uh, different display technology, we also have pixel density scaling, so you can mix those into the same presentation. Control, we have already touched upon. You have seen that I'm controlling all this from the iPad. You can do it from a web interface if you have traditional control systems. If you're a lighting designer, you might want to control it from a lighting console, controlling all the visuals from there. You can also send lighting commands from WatchOut as I'm doing now to those small spotlights over there. So now I'm sending DMX values to those spotlights or setting the sound volume like this, and mixing this with visual effects. And WatchOut is of course not a lighting design system, it's not a video editing system either, but, but the ability you have to synchronize those external effects to your visuals on the screen, that's a very valuable effect. And in the new version 5.2 you even have DMX recording so you can record a complete DMX sequence and then play it back in WatchUp as one cue. We run this entire demo in 3D with uh, glasses and everything. And uh, what you see on the screen now is, is a, a 3D movie. Uh, but all the other effects, all the other 3D effects in this presentation are created in WatchUp using standard two-dimensional elements and generated them with the 3D functions in WatchUp that you can move them in the field of depth. So what you do is that you set the eye distance like that and then you can take any two-dimensional media object just as easy as it is to create a 2D show. You can create rather spectacular 3D effects like with this paper plane as you can see that is moving along a three-dimensional motion path. And the, oops, sorry, let's go back to that. So. Yeah, and with 3D production, it's also important that it's, it's expensive and very complex. Um, and so, thanks to that, you can use standard two-dimensional media elements in WatchOut. You save a lot of money on this production. And as I said, it's just as easy to make a 2D production to make some 3D effects in WatchOut. So I'm going to throw that paper plane. That is how it looks. If you have glasses on, that looks pretty spectacular. Just two Photoshop images created that. that Finally, a few words about cost. WatchUp is a software product working with completely standard computer and network technologies, display technologies, you can mix anything. Um, there is no expensive proprietary hardware involved anywhere. In the new version 5, we allow you to tap the full potential of your hardware investment and now you can drive up to six displays from a single PC, dramatically reducing the cost for your system and making WatchUp the most cost-effective media server on the market. Uh, but also very competitive and suitable for fixed installation with traditional video server installations in museum and for digital signage. So this is what I had to tell you about the new version 5 of WatchOut. If you have any questions, I would be happy to answer those. If not, have a good evening here in Amsterdam and thank you for listening.